global warming being taught as fact in some classrooms, but isn't it still just a theory? In Mesa County, Colorado, 700 people have signed a petition to stop teaching global warming unless the schools will also teach the other side of the argument. Rose Puglisi is an attorney and community activist. She started this petition there in Colorado. She joins us from Denver this morning. Good morning to you, Rose. Tell us, what are they attempting to teach the kids there in Mesa County? Good morning. Well, you know, kids in, in Mesa County, and I'm sure throughout the state and the country, are watching an inconvenient truth, I'm told, between two and four times in their high school careers, which means that some kids are actually watching an inconvenient truth once a year for four years. And what's disturbing about that is that there's so many fallacies con contained within an inconvenient truth that are not being pointed out, and there's other diff different alternative perspectives to global warming that are not being taught. Rose, there are scientists around the world that question this, the legitimacy of global warming. We remember ClimateGate, all the emails that came to light. What are you doing to stop this? Well, what we really want to do, you know, I'm not getting involved in the global warming debate. What I want to do is just make sure that our kids are getting access to a balanced education. If they're going to hear one side of the global warming debate, they should hear the other side as well. So that this way they can make up their own minds. I don't know when we stopped um, fostering independent thinking in our students, but I think that they can handle hearing both sides of the issue. And the group Balanced Education for Everyone is also behind this movement. Uh, what has been the school board response? thus far? Uh, there's been no response. We presented our 700 signatures to the school board Tuesday night and generally it's the policy of the school board not to comment on public comment. So we have not heard any comments yet. Um, I am uh, helping with the balanced education program, although mm -hmm. we had started our petition uh, probably about a month and a half before I even learned about their program. Um, but we did present their materials to the school board on Tuesday night, and we hope that they'll take a look at that and the, um, the video, Not Evil, Just Wrong, which kind of counters the Inconvenient Truth video. And there's also similar movements in uh, Franktown, Littleton, Colorado, and Las Vegas, Nevada. The last question, we're about out of time, is if, in fact, the school district agrees to teach both sides of this issue, are you okay with the subject matter being taught? I think it's fine. Like I said, we need to foster independent thinking, and I think if they've got both sides, then at least they can decide for themselves whether they believe in global warming or that it's man-made at least. I got it, Rose. Thank you so much for being here, and have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. Coming up on this show, more Memorial Day grub when we come back in two minutes.